right, y'all. So this week's episode, no, 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 scratch that. Today is special. This video is special. Why? Because it's my birthday. Oh my God, I am 29 years old and I'm loving it and I'm holding it and I'm looking damn good, bitch. Let me just say thank you to everybody who has contacted me to say happy birthday from the Facebook messages to the Instagram messages. Y'all are really showing out on my Instagram. I really love y'all and I love the love. I appreciate it. Uh, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing to celebrate. I really just want to sit up here and finish watching Dear White People Season 3 and get ready for work tomorrow. Because, bitch, I'm an adult. But, yeah. Oh, if you want to send me a birthday gift, this is my cash app right here, bitch. Right here. Have thine own way. <laughs> Don't discriminate. Don't haul back. Dig, dig. All right, so let's get into the episode. So we start the episode off with Blanca tossing and turning in the bed, and baby, she is having a hot girl summer. But just when she think it can't get hotter, oh, it does. Chying a line, a line. She get a ring on the phone. She like, uh, it's four in the morning. What the fuck is going on? She pick up the phone, and remember how in the description for this week's episode is that that Blanca has suffered a loss. This is what the loss was. Child Frederica. She's trying to say she didn't do it, but we all know the truth. She done burnt down a salon, bitch, and she did it for the insurance money. Now, I don't know if she did it for the insurance money or to get back at Blanca or both. Because she had just said that she had took up the stakes on her insurance company. Therefore, she had more coverage. So, she would get more money if the place was damaged. Oh, yeah, I've been sipping on this all day. I don't want to show the title because, you know, they ain't doing a product placement. They ain't paying a bitch, but y'all know what it is, okay? Green apple, go get you a piece. Electra, she down to the job, and bitch, I ain't talking about endo, she ain't, okay? She down to the whip up here, and she giving it to him good, and the man was like, go ahead and leave me here. You know, this is the weekend in August where everybody go on their vacation before the kids go back to school or whatever. So, just go ahead and leave me here. She like, nah, because the last time I did that, a child, something happened, so we not going to really go down that road again. He was like, uh, like, yeah, I mean, we could do something. I mean, I got a beach house or whatever. She was like, huh? Uh, beach house, she was saying. Homeboy didn't care as long as he was still tied up in them bundles. She didn't give a fuck where he was at. So, she was like, okay, I got an idea. And the next thing we see is a lecturer in the house. I thought she was there to tell them that, but obviously not. She was there to support Blanca because Blanca was going through because she had just lost her shop and she had lost her kids and she all alone in that big ass cheap ass big ass apartment so she just going on and on and on about how sad and depressed she is and angel trying to cheer her up mama it'll be okay just start saving up lulu trying to cheer her up and the whole time electra is complaining about the heat and bitch when they had enough they was like hold up bitch you got ac down to your house why the fuck we ain't there and electra was like because it's starting to smell Lulu like, what the fuck? Why is it starting to smell? Now, Lulu and Angel don't know that Alexa got a dead man's body in her closet. Only Candy and Blanca knew that. Well, now it's just Blanca because rest in peace, Candy. Now, I personally don't know why she just won't call the Mexican lady back and be like, bitch, he's starting to stink. You said he was going to be a cocoon by now, and bitch, he is not a cocoon. He is to stinking up my goddamn apartment. But nevertheless, she just threw some lie about a Jamaican lady selling fish. She was like, it's smelling up the hallways, and after 85 degrees, it just take over the whole entire complex, and bitch, everything be stinking. Electra, you might want to get a hold on that bitch because that smell is only going to stay confined to your apartment for so long. Eventually, other people is going to start to smell that, and they're going to report that, and then you're going to start to look suspicious and then the fact that you a transgender woman they really not gonna take it easy on you mama so you need to clear up your goddamn mess why you still can so after all that goes down Electra's like listen okay you been battling about this shit bitch let's go no it was Lulu Lulu was like we need to go to that beach and Electra was like oh oh I got the perfect plan bitch say no more all expenses paid on me just meet me at my house tomorrow so boom it's tomorrow we all at Electra house everybody like what's that smell oh Mama then took a whole bunch of them little trees that go in your car. Baby, she took like 50 of them hoes and put them in the closet. And pine is the only thing you can smell. Now, why you didn't get the new car smell? Why you didn't get leather? Why you didn't get cherry? Why you didn't get strawberry? They got other flavors, Electra. Oh, maybe they didn't back in the 90s. I don't know, because, bitch, I didn't have a car back then. Yes, I did. It was Hot Wheels, though. But, bitch, I'm not going to sell myself short. I did. I was pushing the whip. And then this was the moment. And I know we've had a lot of these moments throughout the series of polls. But the defining moment for me 
was when I was like, this is why we need trans people on the writing board. Like, we need trans people on the floor room to build this story up. No consultants, no this, no that, no people on set telling you no. It was like, no, you need people who lived that life to be in the room. When they were going through their different insecurities about being a trans girl, if anybody ain't clockable at all, it's Lulu. And Lulu, outside of Blanca, was the main one with insecurities. Oh, I'm gaining weight. I'm going to be clocked on. It's just like, oh, my God. Like, that was another moment. I'm going to point it out in this episode. But that was just, like, eye-opening for me. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, it takes the struggle to a whole nother level. Like, as a gay man, yes, I put on my armor, you know, to protect myself or, you know. I don't do the whole masculine thing in public anymore because I'm pretty secure in myself. But I still prepare myself. I toughen my skin up just in case somebody is ignorant and want to get bugged with a bitch. But for trans women, it's a whole nother level. Like, they still get laughed at and teased. Like, for me, it's just an uncomfortability because straight niggas be like, oh, it's a gay nigga in the room. I gotta tense up. I gotta keep my dick. Like, it's shit like that. But they outwardly disrespecting the trans girls. So it's just like, yikes. And then Blanca took it home because she came in looking like a banshee girl. And I was just like, ugh. Like, every time, every time you build me up, you only let me down. Okay? Like, oh, Blanca, you was looking nice. And then you came in looking like that with the pigtails, girl. Uh -uh. And Alexa was like, girl, we got to get you something. We got to get you up out of this and into something presentable. And she was like, no, nah, I'm good. No. Alexa was like, no, I insist. Bitch, you not going out the house with me looking like that. And Blanca got serious. She said, no, for real. And Electra thought it was behind the shop and the kids and all of that. And then Blanca had to break it down. I'm not like y'all. I'm 90% clockable. I still get called a man, a freak, a tranny in public, and ugh, I just want to feel comfortable. I can't do the bathing suit thing like y'all, and that's when it really hit, and I was just like, damn, like, it shouldn't be like that, yeah? People are different. Like, I walked out an aisle in the grocery store yesterday with a man who was in a wheelchair with no legs. It threw me off because 98% of the people in America have legs, but... You see it, you get shocked for a minute, you give the awkward smile, and you keep it moving. Like, you you don't want to be disrespectful because we all got differences and uniquenesses about ourselves, right? Uniquenesses, is that a word? It is today, bitch. It's my birthday. So they make Miss Blanca over and then get down, boogie, boogie. Baby, nobody really knew the words to that song. They knew part of the words, but it was more about the dancing and all of this and then that. Then they get to the house, and I'm like, Oh, this house is massive. Now, let me say this. I don't mean to break continuity or to poke holes in the production. But, bitch, how the fuck did the white man get there? And who locked him up in the cage? Like, he couldn't have fit in the trunk, y'all. Like, so... Uh, okay. Kasha, I... I just... That just wasn't making sense to me. And maybe I was looking too deep into it. Maybe it was the lack of... But, bitch, I just didn't understand that. So they get to the beach. They're sharing small talk. Electra shares that she never actually went up to the casket at Candy's funeral. And she don't have a lot of regrets. But that's one of them. And she really regrets that. But Lulu calmed her down and was just like, well, not really calmed her down because Electra wasn't worked up. But she was just like, you're a good mom. And you you sent her out in style. So be proud of that. And meanwhile, Blanca was like, bitch, I want to go to the water. I ain't never been to the water. I want to get in the water. Angel was like, I ain't never swam before, and I don't know how, but bitch, I'll go with you. Now, Angel said, I promise I'll go in if you hold my hand. But as soon as Angel was like, you off drugs? For real, you sure? I'm going to turn you into a house mother one day, and they had their little heart-to-heart. -heart. Boom, they let each other hand go, and they, ah! And that's exactly what fucked Blanca up. Now, listen. Bitch, if you can't, I'm finna give you some 101 beach rules if you can't fucking swim. Now, me, I'm what you call um, a unique swimmer. I can only swim in water I can stand in. Bitch, you ain't gonna catch me in nine feet. Mm -mm. You ain't gonna catch me deep in the ocean jumping off of yachts like Beyonce. No, bitch, no, I'm not doing it. I can swim in water I can stand in. Therefore, when I'm in the ocean, belly button is as far as I'm going. Because the wave could come at any time and bump me up to here. You know, the water could be wafting and just doing what it's doing. And it could be up to here. 
I don't need to be all the way on my tiptoes with the water to my damn nipples. Because if a wave come, bitch, I'm washed out. No, ma'am. Blanca, I ain't never known you to be no fucking mermaid. So, bitch, why the fuck you that deep in the ocean? Because now you under that sea because you went out too far. It was convenient, but I, I y'all had to tie it up in some way. As soon as Lulu was like, where's Blanca? Hey, go, Angel. Oh, my God. Please. Blanca Jesus. Please. And then here come, oh, oh. Girl, this is exactly why I bought a neon because I wanted to match my new man. Because, girl, I mean, Blanca, I love you, girl. You my mama, but you gonna have to kick me out the house for this one, because... But anyway, he got your ass. He revived you back to hell. And he was like, good to see you, bitch. Good to see you. So, mm, 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 mm. Bitch, I was... <laughs> So the girls get back to the house or whatever, and they discover we in this big ass, beautiful ass house, and it's no liquor. So bitch, we gonna have to go out. And at first they were scared, like, uh, for real, y'all, uh. And Alexa was like, fuck that. We deserve to be here like everybody else, bitch. We finna go get us a Long Island, and we gonna do it in style. So bitch, let's go now. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Alexa bought her license from the bodega and was pushing it. Two-ton hoopty all the way along. Like, girl, like, they made it safely and they made it back safely. But, girl, unless you I'm never riding with your ass the way you pushing that whip, okay? So, the girls go out, and it's an upscale restaurant. Unless you're like, table for four, please. First, they wouldn't get them the damn window seat. I always reserve, so it was subtle shade. The lady was barely trying to touch them when she was handing them the napkins. People looking or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they ignored it. They moved on. They got to talk about Luther, and I'm so glad, Donye, I got to give you this shout out because, bitch, you saved me from getting read in the comments. When they said, oh my God, I can't believe we lost Luther, I said, bitch, according to my calculations, Luther died in 2005, bitch, and y'all in 1990. So what the fuck y'all talking about? And my cousin was like, no. As women, they lost Luther to the men because now he cuckoo for cocoa puffs if you know what i mean i was like oh so why was everybody mad at patty when she outed him and watched what happens live if we've been knowing since the 90s okay he thought he was fooling somebody when he had fancy in his video bitch police okay <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody and neither is johnny gill bitch but you ain't hear that from me, child. You didn't hear that from me. Now, you also... No, I'm not going to say that, child, because I want to work with Eddie Murphy one day. So I'm not going to say that him and Eddie Murphy used today. I'm not going to say that. So you're not going to hear that from me because it's not going to come out my mouth. I'm not going to say that. And for everybody saying you just did, bitch, fuck you. No, I did not. Can you prove it? Don't rewind this video. So they cackling about Luther and Blanca was like, oh girl, I gotta pee or whatever. So she went to go pee and she ran into the lifeguard. Lifeguard must have really been interested in Blanca because he was talking to his grandma on the payphone. And when Blanca had tapped him, he said, grandma, I'm gonna call you back, homie. Click it. Boom. Was all that for her was like, let me take you on a stroll on the beach later. So while all that's going on, you got Electra, Angel, and Lulu still at the table. While they cackling, a white lady comes up to the table. I guess the bitch was like, you didn't take the subtle shade, bitch, so here come the real shade. She was like, I'm sorry, but me and my girlfriends, we're trying to luxuriate in a lovely evening, and you're a little bit too loud. Electra was like, bitch, we ain't no louder than anybody else at this table. What's going on? Mama said, oh, I'm <laughs> I'm no fool. I work in the city. I know a man in a dress when I see one, and I'm looking at three right now. Eh, uh, what's going on? And that's when Electra lit into her ass. Now, Electra was about to light into her ass earlier, but Lulu said she ain't worth it. But bitch, when she said the man in the dress, Lulu stepped back. Lulu said, bitch, the floor is yours, mama. Electra said, bitch, just because you live in a Barbie dream house with a Barbie life with a daddy that paid for your abortion with a man named Jake does not mean you have the good life, okay, bitch? You are in late, ill-fitting J. Cruz, okay, bitch, with a 50-cent scrunchie and you still don't know who you are. So go ahead, eat your goddamn caviar and get the fuck out my face. Y'all heard that? Because <laughs> I ain't gonna repeat myself. And spit her ass back down and continue to cackle. So by this time, Blanca had came back. I met the lifeguard. His name is Adrian. He wanted to take me on a stroll. And this was the second moment where I was just like, it takes a transgender woman who has lived this life to put this shit in the script. They was like, uh-uh. Meet him for coffee in the daytime. You know we can't meet them after dark. That's probably what happened to Candy. 
all them little nuances we wouldn't have thought of. A person who hasn't lived that life wouldn't have thought of shit like that. Now she's like, wow. And she was like, bitch, I'm doing it. I'm not gonna live my life in fear. Like, I, I was a little scared, but she was like, I'm doing it. So they said, okay, bitch. Alexa gave her a switchblade. Uh, Angel gave her brass knuckles. And Lulu gave her a taser. Bitch, take this with you, okay? Because we can handle ourselves. You're going to be out there by your damn self. So Blunt can get out there. She walking with Asian on the beach or whatever. He's studying to be a doctor. So she like, shit, like, damn, you fine. And you smart. Jackpot. Then she started telling him about her life. And she slipped up and was like, the outside world. And he was like, the outside world? And she was like, yeah, she was trying not to tell him. And he was like, Blanca, I know. Blanca, I love you, but I got to pause. Blanca, we all know. And you know everybody know. So I don't know why the girls felt or why you felt that you needed to express to him or reveal to him that you was a trans woman. Mm -mm. We know. We all know. So it wasn't no big surprise. But homie was smooth with it. He was like, you are a beautiful, funny, brave, or whatever, bold woman. And I like you. Can I kiss you? And mama said, and I'm going to have to use this one. Mama said, I ain't going to stop you. <laughs> Block up! So now it's time to go back home. Electric unchanged the man. And apparently the same way he got into the cage, he going to get out. Because, girl, we not girl. So they get back in the car and hold on to your love. Now this warmed my heart because this was a song by black people, by black women. And them girls in that car knew every fucking word. And then when I thought my heart couldn't grow no bigger, bitch Electra looked in the rearview mirror and Candy was sitting in the back seat. I said, oh, yes, Candy. Oh my God, like... Just for visual and compensation purposes, I loved how even though Candy wasn't alive, Candy was still there. Angelica Ross was still getting her coin. Bitch, yes. But Angelica, oh mama, um, tap this part right here. Because you was the only one in the backseat sweating. And my cousin said it was probably because you was in hell, but... I just think he was just hot. And it wasn't really just supposed to be there, but I don't know, you know? I don't think they would go as far as to make you sweat because you literally in hell. But, and I hope not. I hope you not in hell. Like you said you was, but who wanna go to hell? Child, with this generation, you literally gotta ask the question because some people would raise their motherfucking hand. Oh, so anyway, we get back to the house or whatever. Blanca and Angel is at Blanca's house. And Blanca was like, could you stay with me for the night? Just, you know, I don't want this to end. And they talking about Adrian or whatever. And Angel like, yeah, let me call Poppy real quick and tell him not to expect me. But when she went to the phone, it was a little blankety blank blank. You got a message. So Blanca was like, oh, it's probably a bill collector. Watch. Hey, what's up? It's Adrian. Yes! Oh, he called. Baby, Blanca say, bitch, the linen's in the room. You know how to make your bed, bitch. Mama gonna be on the phone for a while. Now, here's the thing, though. You stopped the message because it was getting juicy. And you say you gave him your number. How the fuck did you know his number by heart? Bitch, you said... Adrian. Bitch, when did he give you his number? I got... No, I'm... This is... I'm not doing this no more because I'm poking holes in the continuity and y'all know I want to be on season three. So I can't be doing that because I need to make friends over at Pose. So, no, screw up. That didn't happen. Uh, so, yeah, she talked to Adrian and I really hope, you know, they're doing a time jump for the season finale. So I hope we see them together. She still has not revealed that she has AIDS. But by him being a doctor, this could... Oh, oh, I just realized... What if he, oh, Lord Jesus. What if he takes this on and, like, is endearing with it? Like, okay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to walk you through this because I'm a doctor and I have access to things. Oh, this could be beautiful. This could be beautiful. If that happens, I want my cut. Pops. But, yeah, this episode was given what it was given. I got another one of these. So, bitch, I'm finna turn up some out. Okay. Y'all got the cash app. And if you don't. Now you do. This episode was given what it was giving. Make sure you are commenting, liking, subscribing, and that your notifications are on. Bitch, click the bell so you can get the call. Same place, same time.